Hello everybody, my name is Luis and in this video let's create our first plugin using the Appload add-in that's gonna help us to create our solution in Visual Studio 2022 and after that we're gonna create our a simple plugin and then we're gonna send everything to GitHub and create installation and so on. So let's go. Uh, first I'm gonna here in the Recon tab, I have the App Loader plugin, I'm gonna click in the Application Loader and here I have a create button. I'm gonna create here. I want to create a new project, a new solution for Revit adding. So I have a basic adding solution. So uh, at the moment it's just that. Uh, and then I have the name of my project. I'm gonna set something like my first plugin. Something like this. Uh, here is the location. Let's change to D. And then the author, I already have one. Yeah, let's change to something like this. Yeah, gonna work as well. And uh, let the author and the company. Yeah, I can click it direct in the create, but I want to create with options. So I'm gonna right click that and gonna create with options. This solution has some options to be changed and you can change that. So the, the author, the company, the license is a MIT license in this case, uh, I'm gonna check this box and uh, the description and something interesting is the version of this solution so i'm gonna set for these three versions 21 22 and 23 so let's create i, I already have visual studio 2022 installed in my machine so i'm gonna open this the gonna create the project and gonna open the solution for me in here let's wait a little bit and uh let's this is my solution, so let's build this and show some features of the app loader. So I build this project and gonna appear in here. Let's let's go. I did not build. It's building so and appear in here in my solution. In my solution, in my Revit. Uh, I do need to close and open. So here's my plugin. I can click here, just gonna show the version of my Revit, kinda kinda simple one. And uh, let's take a look on the on the solution. I have uh, a folder with some files related to GitHub. Here a change log. I can change after that. The readme. I need to change this to verse 21, but uh, let's change after that. Uh, the, the license and other stuff. And here I have two projects. One is for the build automation. So I can build this project in an easy way. Yeah, I'm gonna build that, I'm gonna create the installation, the, the bundle file, everything. And here is our plugin. So I have a folder with my icon, simple icon, with that icon in there. And I have the application, the start application that is handle the creation of that, that panel. So I can change the name of the panel and, and build again. And gonna change uh, right away in my Revit. So I don't need to close name open. So really cool. And I have the the uh, external command. When I click in the, that push button, gonna execute this function. So uh, I can change that and put something Oh boy, like this video. Yeah, don't forget to like this video. So I change that, build again, and if I click here, I'm gonna change the, what I, what I change the comment. So yeah, really cool. Uh, other thing I can do, yeah, I can change the name of my comment. So set text, something like this. Uh, hello, hello everyone, yeah. Really cool. So uh, other thing I want to do, uh, I'm gonna send this project to GitHub. So uh, let's start that. Uh, let's first, let's go here, here below, uh, add source control, git, and let's wait a little bit. Uh, first I'm gonna create in local, my local machine. So I'm gonna create that. I want to change the, I forget the, the branch to a developer branch, develop branch. So I'm gonna change to new, uh, let's create a new branch and 
it's done now I'm gonna go in the git chains and gonna push this to my github I can select my owner gonna be my company so this is the name of my repository uh, my first uh, refs adding something like this let's push this and it's done so uh, I'm gonna fin finish this video and the next video we're gonna create a simple plugin using this setup and gonna gonna be fun so see you there bye bye